So this year, I'm trying something completely new. I've never tried it before. It's putting two working days in one day. Hello and welcome to another vlog. It's an amazing day so far. I started at around seven, did my first coaching call, spent some time with my kids, and then we did some recordings for this channel and other projects that we have. And today is gonna be an exciting day. I have a nice deal that I'm going to sign. I'm selling a property that I invested in um, maybe like six years ago with my wife. So we're selling that property. We're gonna to go to do that deal. Then I'm going through my office to see my staff and get them ready for some of the things that are ahead of us. And then I'm also getting some of my tickets for the US. I'm gonna be in LA, Las Vegas, Florida, a long journey of speaking on my new book, Courage in Crisis. So it's gonna be an exciting day. Welcome. So we just arrived at the office. I'm gonna meet my team. There are some exciting opportunities taking place. One of which is that Grant Cardone, the infamous Grant Cardone, has gifted me and the life coach to the stars team story the highest ticket the highest access for his 10x conference in las vegas that's going to be exciting to see 10x live from the first seats of the vips excited about that So, uh, this is not a paid uh, ad. Uh, I'm very excited that this baby finally arrived. Those that know me know that I love cold showers, cold plunges, everything cold. So this finally arrived, now I'm gonna be using it. The best thing about it is you can pack it and take it any place you go. Yeah. So now when I'm going to America, I'm gonna be taking it with me, you know, to every hotel, every conference place where I'm gonna speak. and. Before I come up to speak, I'm gonna jump in. So just finished a deal at the notary, uh, sold a piece of property that we bought uh, some years back with my wife. Now it was a good time to sell it. So now I'm headed to another meeting. It's a strategic meeting for my newest book, Courage in Crisis, The Ultimate Guide to Success. I'm very excited about the book and the trip to the US a lot of opportunities, a lot of new places, new faces, new spaces. So, I'm excited. So this year, I'm trying something completely new. I've never tried it before. It's putting two working days in one day. See, we had this idea of time that, you know, you have to work and one working day is eight hours. But what if it could be four hours, what if you could be productive, okay? So, there are different concepts of doing that. Uh, one guy is teaching about the four hour work week, another guy is teaching about um, one day a week work. I don't like that, because to me it's like, if I have a four hour work week, what am I gonna do the, the rest of the week? So the way I see it is, I was always very productive, but now, I'm trying to do two days in one day. So if I do two days in one day, this means that I have over 700 days in a year, where most people have 365. Does that make sense? So today I already finished my two days of work. So I started very early in the morning, 
did my morning routine, my prayer, my workout, everything. Then I did a coaching client, which is like a lot of work. Most coaches don't do a lot of work and then coach somebody, which for me, I put all my clients in the morning. So that I do one or two, three people max, and finish by lunchtime with three clients, which is a lot of work. Then I have a second day that starts in the afternoon. So obviously today was after we shot uh, some content at the house. I went for office meetings, other meetings, sold the property, and now I'm here uh, finishing a period of fasting. So I'm doing a smoothie here. It's a dark because it has charcoal inside. And so after after this brief break that I'm now using to record this, I'm going to have a brainstorming meeting with some of my team, a small part of my team, who are the more creative people in the team. I call them for a brainstorming meeting because I'm launching my book, Courage in Crisis. I'm launching it in America, starting with LA, then going to Las Vegas, then back to LA. And in LA, I'm working with the life coach of the Hollywood stars, Tim Story, to present my book at his event in the hills of Hollywood. Then from there, I'm flying to Florida. I'm speaking in Florida, meeting strategic partners. And from Florida, I'm flying back to Bulgaria. I'm gonna do a big launch in Bulgaria, probably a few thousand people. And after that, I'm starting the official Courage World Tour. So I'm gonna be doing my book tour. And so far I have confirmed Germany, Cyprus, Greece, London, Paris, another city in France, and I'm sure I'm missing a country. I'm looking to see if I can get a visa for Russia, because I have three big communities in Russia that um, I really want to go and serve and bring the inspiring message of how to deal with the crisis because many people don't realize that but Russians are also suffering and we support Ukraine actually through my uh, organizations we gave uh, tons of food for Ukrainian refugees help the children um, and you know some of the shelters we have on the seaside here in Bulgaria we support them monthly so now I'm looking into supporting also Russia with the message of uh, courage in crisis so it's an exciting day it's just like four in the afternoon and we have this next meeting then I have a barber barber I'm gonna do my hair because tomorrow I'm recording a course a very very good course so I have the studio from morning to afternoon tomorrow and then uh, after the barber I will see how I feel in my body if I have the power for it I might go and do another workout at the gym if not I'm gonna head home and spend some time with uh, Theodore and the kids because my son has a birthday tomorrow he's turning three so it's life is exciting be productive So think about this, environment is very important. I used to come to this kind of places, this is one of the nice uh, hotels in Sofia, where I live. When I was a teenager, living without electricity and water, I remember going to another hotel, it's just down the street there. It was the hotel where, you know, all the business people and entrepreneurs and of influence they were having the meetings there and coffee and a lot of people from overseas would fly in there I couldn't afford a coffee but I would go and just sit in the lounge take a book and just spend an hour or two reading a book 
it's amazing how many interesting people I've met in these kind of places. So change your environment, to change your mindset and change your life.